guys, I am the fan guy and I'm starting a new segment. Basically, I'll surf through Facebook, Dragon Ball groups and pages and will highlight the best posts, comments or anything that sounds interesting. I will also link those posts so you guys will be able to follow and get more connected with the Dragon Ball community. Since this is the first one, I'm going to make it simple and will take 5 posts. Ok, number 1. We have this troll post from Dragon Ball Z exclusive. Vegeta trying to learn Kaioken from Google. As we know, Goku surpassed Vegeta by combining Kaioken with, the, with his god form. However, it is mentionable that God Ki Kaioken has a lot of limitations. He might have passed with it in the tournament, but if it was an actual death battle, it would leave him too tired and he would get killed. So Vegeta can still have his hopes high and train hard to master an even powerful form before Goku, especially since Goku is currently weak suffering from late onset Ki Turbulent Syndrome. So this might as well be Vegeta's best chance to surpass him. Number 2. We have here a post from the group Dragon Ball Z. It's a simple post and majority of the fans commented Teen Gohan. I totally agree without a doubt Gohan was at his peak as a teen. However, Ryan commented when he wasn't a bitch. Well, at this point, it's a very acceptable comment for God's sake. Just give him his powers back at least. Anyway, which forum did you like the best? Comment. Number 3. It's a fun post basically roasting One Punch Man. This will piss off a lot of Saitama fans though. It was posted in our page Dragon Ball fans by one of our admins. I just think it's funny and I liked it. Number 2. It's a fact like post from Dragon Ball Universe. It says Piccolo is only 4 years older than Gohan. Yes, absolutely true. Namex grow way faster both physically and mentally, like he was born when Goku defeated King Piccolo and by the time the next tournament started, he looked the same or maybe even older than Goku. Number 1. Ok, here we have a post from DB or DBZ or DBGD fans group. It's a common yet an interesting post, it asks with whom you would rather train with. You can see the options on the photo, well most people commented Wiz or Vados simply because they are the strongest in the list. I disagree, I would certainly go with Master Roshi, who is the strongest here doesn't matter at all. You need training, you need the best coach, not the best player, and you are a human with almost zero fighting knowledge. Wiz or Vid Vados wouldn't be able to do shit with you. They only train the likes of Goku and Vegeta and only they can keep up with their training. Master Roshi on the other hand if required can give you a comparatively realistic training. He did train humans like Krillin, Yamcha and even Tien and Chaozu at one point. Krillin once even used to get bullied and he is now stronger than many superheroes out there. Roshi taught Kamehameha to mirror humans. Besides, I consider Master Roshi's training the most important even for Goku. That training didn't necessarily make him the strongest but that training gave him the ultimate fighting style that he kept using even when he got stronger. Till now, his signature move is Kamehameha taught by Master Roshi. In my understanding, it is Master Roshi's training that gave Goku a base so strong that he could adapt with all of the training that he took later on. Ok, that's all for now. Comment your opinion down below. If you want us to feature you, inbox us on our Facebook page